Uh, the Hero 4 line, both the silver and black, do they hold up? In this video, we will find out. Um, I personally think they do look better than the newer GoPros, but that is just my opinion, and it depends on your preference, but we're not doing opinion or preference. Today, we are going to find out how well it stacks up in 2020. Does it have the, enough features that it could perform as an action camera in 2020? Well, in this video, we will find out. Hey, what's up guys? So, um, I really think if you're just looking for a cheap action camera, the Hero 4 is definitely worth it in 2020. I mean, this footage still looks fine to me. You see, like, it's not the best details since there's a little bit of a scratch on my lens, but you can still see the colors pretty good. You know, it's not terrible footage, like, um, when people say the Hero 4 footage looks terrible, I'm like, what? It doesn't look terrible at all. This is great footage. I don't know who you are, but I think this is just great footage. Um, so yeah, you can pick up one of these for, like, sometimes refurbished for, like, a hundred or less if you get one used. And go with the black if you want the 4K30, but... Otherwise, go with the silver. It has a screen. Depends on what you like. Um, here are some photos that the GoPro took. This is a clip of running with the chest mount on. Um, it's not the most stable. When I jumped onto this picnic table and jumped off, the chest mount came down. So yeah, it's not the most stable when running but you can do okay like it's pretty stable on the chest mount compared to the handheld but it's still pretty good so yeah you can just hear that noise it makes in the waterproof case it sounds terrible so what i'm gonna do is get a new waterproof case in a little bit and then um cut a hole for the charging port and microphone so the audio is good. Um, it's going to take a little bit of jerry rigging, but I'll get it so the audio setup's good. So you can see that on the bike, the chest mount's actually pretty good. Um, other than the angle I had it at, it was pretty good. Well, you got to hear a little footage inside the case. Not very pleasant. Um, the video quality is actually pretty good. Um, if their audio quality was good, this would actually make for a very usable video. But I'm only really going to show the audio quality in this video inside the waterproof case. Um, there needs to be a microphone hole for it. Would That would make it sound so much better. I don't know why they didn't just include like two cases in the box like one for audio and one for waterproofing that would make so much more sense but i guess we got what we got so we have to do with what we got um i don't know about you but i think the video looks pretty good this video was uh mounted on my helmet and it looks pretty good um it's very stable um you know, it looks pretty good. This is very usable footage if it wasn't for the audio. Even more usable than the chest footage because of the angle. But because of the angle, it just made it too unusable. But this is usable footage.
so I actually personally think this is a good camera for people who are looking for a cheap action camera in 2020. Um, clips look very nice. Um, other than the glare of the sun in this video, it looks super nice, super usable. Um, this is me holding in my hand walking. Um, this is a totally good camera to buy in 2020 if you're just looking for a cheap and dependable action camera. Of course, if you're looking for better, go for better. But it's all up to you and your purchase decision. This is a great camera for a cheap action camera. Low light for the Hero 4. Video, There's I don't know why. My dirty and too. It, it looks like it's pretty yeah, it's good at 6400 ISO, except for that weird blurry and grainy effect. So video, low light, not very impressive in my test on the Hero 4. Here's the time lapse of the GoPro. And there's a few things to consider. First, it looks good. Second, the battery life's really good with time lapses. And, in general, with the Hero 4. You know, for a small action camera. You know, one with a DSLR with a huge battery. It's, of course, going to get better battery life. But you can see the time lapse just looks really good. And you can see the color's really good. And it just looks really nice, in my opinion. So, yeah. As you can see, slow-mo looks also really good on this GoPro. Um, of course, it's the Hero 4 Silver, so to get that 240 frames per second, you have to go to VGA, which is this is in. So that's no good, but the footage of the slow-mo actually looks pretty good. Um, I would recommend actually picking up the Hero 4 Black if you're going to do slow-mos. Well, if you are someone looking for a cheap action camera, I'm going to say it again. Go for it. It is an awesome action camera. Um, if you're the type of person that needs 4K30, buy the Hero 4 Black. But if you're someone that just wants the screen, go for the Silver. The Silver, I think, was one of the first action cameras to come with the screen. Not too sure of that, but it at least is the first GoPro that, come with this, that comes with the screen. Um... The GoPro Hero 4 lineup is very good and performs good in 2020. Um, if you just need this action camera because you can't afford newer ones, it's pretty much just as good as newer ones. Of course, the newer ones have the more features. Peace out.